it's pretty awesome that people who are getting married now can not only have their picture, which is like one of the most important things in a write-up, but also their video. Tell us about the plans for that. Yeah, we're very excited about this. It's our first foray into user-generated content. What's going to happen is users who submit their write-ups to be included in the weddings pages of the paper will also be asked if their write-up is in fact accepted, will be asked to submit a video. And if they choose to do that, we'll put it up on the site. And we're using Brightcove to enable it so that the technology is ironclad and we'll make sure that they, their videos get seen. And it's a, it's a really interesting idea because it's, we've been wanting to get into user-generated video. We haven't quite figured out exactly how to do that on the news side yet. So we figured we would start more in what's referred to as the back of the book and we would get something out there that's a little bit more playful and, and at the same time engage our, our users in a way that we think is, is really interesting. That's great. So, um, so what kind of, do you have any idea about the forums or what you'll be asking people? Will it be sort of the couples? Will it be sort of uh, will there be many editorial guidelines at all? Or? There won't be very many editorial guidelines. We're just going to ask people to tell their story. They're called How We Met, which is pretty self-explanatory. And we're really asking people just to tell us exactly that. If they want to include footage from their video, uh, from their wedding, they're more than welcome to do that. If they want to, to record themselves doing interviews the way that we've done it in our, in our own produced versions of this, which we call vows, they're more than welcome to do that. The only guidelines we'll place on it are, is length, and we haven't quite determined what that will be yet, but something short enough so that the file sizes aren't too huge, so that it won't be hard for people to do. And we'll ask people not to do anything obscene or inappropriate. So what's the imperative or the motivation for you guys in, in embracing consumer-generated content? How, how come you made this decision, which is a kind of an interesting one? I mean, it's a baby step, but it's very significant. Why, why have you guys made this step? Um, several reasons. The first is that we want to engage our users. We want to. We have a, a unique audience for the New York Times, both in, in print and online, and we want to make sure that we, we give them more tools to play with at the site, and we want to make sure that we give them a richer experience. At the same time, it's a great way for us to build out our content library, and we think that it's something that we want to do further down the road in other areas. So this is, as you said, it's a baby step. We think it's maybe more of a toddler step, but we're actually trying to, to see how, we're using it as an experiment, really testing the waters and seeing if this is something that we can expand later into other areas.